What's going on Aquarius? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and there's going to be a reading for career, money, and life purpose advancement when it comes from now until the end of August 2023. So in this reading Aquarius, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy as it pertains to this. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming when it comes to your money, career, life purpose. We're also going to get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and so much more. But before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here, Aquarius, in this space with me as we go through this reading. And I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that over here. So without further ado, I'm now going to pull the energy and we'll see what wants to come through for you for money, career, life purpose advancement from now until the end of August 2023. As always, I would like to thank the angels, hello, the interdimensional beings, <clears throat> peace out, and the spiritual, wait, as always, I want to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Aquarius. If, if, if this is 11, if this is 11 cards and this is your reading, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nope. Nope. Two more. Who we got. Okay. Hmm. Interesting stuff that you got going on here, Aquarius. Very interesting. A lot of you here, you really don't see this coming. There's going to be a big change actually here. Um, it's going to give you, there may be people upset with this change, whether it's you or I'm getting friends or family here. Um, I'm not going to get too ahead of myself, but oh, wow, that's all I'm going to say. So when it comes to um, this, before we get into the tarot, let's start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards from the universe. And this is going to be the energy that you need to embody from now until the end of August to advance yourself when it comes to your money, your career, or your life purpose situation. Now, first thing that you have here is law number eight, make others, make other people come to you. And this is like the <clears throat> basic law of negotiation, um, where in negotiation, whether you're ne negotiating your salary, the prices you, you know, something around this <clears throat> negotiation or just the, the way you um, market, present yourself, um, the person who's willing to walk away always has the power. So if you're going to into a job interview, I think this is about not having a desperate energy, but also making people come to you. You're always going to be in the position of power. So, um, when it comes to this, there's a weird analogy coming into my mind. Make other people come to you. Um, for some of you, this is about not overselling yourself and um, just positioning yourself correctly. Uh, because some of you are super talented people. You have a bunch of specialized knowledge, skills, you know, things that you've been working on for a long time. And it's not that you... It's, it, what I'm picking up is just the way the approach is off. So here's just to give you a clear example of what this reading is saying to you. Um, you see a lot of YouTubers or you see a lot of tarot readers who they have this like introduction video where they're like, hi, my name is Sarah and I specialize in this reading and my goal and my mission statement is to empower you with, with blah, blah, blah. And the idea is it makes people not respect you because they think they can figure you out. 
So when it comes to this, but it's just an intuitive thing that I'm getting, make other people come to you. Um, make other people figure you out. Make other people want to come to you instead of you trying to like knock on someone's door or oh, there's something about overselling yourself. Because for example, when it comes to this channel, the autistic mystic, you know, make other people come to you. For example, instead of having some sort of introduction video where like, I'm the autistic mystic and I support the autism foundation. And blah, 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 it's just like, I'm just like, what's up? None of you know me, but you're trying to figure it out. All right. Or, or it's just about helping, but make other people come to you. So it, if this is like sales, use that or it, no matter what it is. Okay. And for those of you that are employed right now, make other people come to you. <clears throat> what I, what I get from this is, um, cause I actually see a switch going on. So if you are employed, I don't want to scare you, but there's, there's definitely a shift if you're not going to be fully moving on. But what, what I get from this is like, make other people come to you instead of asking your, uh, instead of asking your boss for a promotion, just be the best worker you could possibly be, and then they'll come to you with an offer, right? If you are that efficient, if you can put your energy, if you can channel your energy the proper way, um, it's people will be begging you to, hey, can we make you the CEO? Can we, can we, you know, people do this opposite. They're like, I want a promotion because I'm Aquarius and I have the best ideas for the collective. And that your boss is like, I don't care about, I don't care. So, uh, but, but I'm not, I'm joking. You obviously understand I'm joking, right? with that analogy. But what I'm trying to say is make other people come to you. Don't be desperate and don't. Yeah. Now the another next thing that's going to help you in your life, purpose, career, and money situation is stir up water to catch fish. This is a very interesting one. Um, in some sort of way, there's some sort of thing about messing with someone's emotions that will give you information. There, there could be something with gatekeepers or, you know, the, Something here about using, you know, like making people um, stir up waters to catch fish here is about like unsettling either yourself, for some of you it's going to be yourself or other people. So like, let's say you have a really stubborn boss who's not promoting you, or let's say that you're a YouTuber, you're some sort of salesperson, you're a marketer, and um, instead of like, in, instead of focusing on yourself and being like, this is, I'm the best because of this. It's like focus on other people's pain point actually is what I'm getting. Stir up waters to catch fish in whatever way you're going to use this Aquarius. Um, what I would say is this, if, how can you emotionally move people? Because that's, what's going to give you success in some sort of way. And it doesn't have to be negative. It's stir up waters to catch fish. Like how do you, you know, how do you move people's emotions? So maybe if you're working somewhere, don't just like, think that your boss has no ego. Do you know that people in power have the biggest egos, the most fragile egos of them all, right? People have this misunderstanding that, oh my God, like the autistic mystic must be impenetrable. Maybe not you, but other people will think that. And it's like the opposite is true. Like people that have gained something in the physical world, usually they're trying to hold on to it. They're, trying, they're the most vulnerable, but they act like they're not. So when this comes to a boss, when this comes to someone you're going into business with, people you're going to, you know, creating a customer avatar, something like this, stir up waters to catch fish. Don't aim for the head, aim here. And what I will say is be careful with how you use that because if you do use it in a negative, manipulative way, you may gain success in the material world, but then that energy will come back to you eventually. Maybe not today, maybe not in two years, but it will eventually come back to you because what you put out is what you get back. So make other people come to you, stir up waters to catch fish. So... I'm just getting, use some sort of emotional appeal and don't over, don't, don't try too hard. Cause when you try hard, <clears throat> that's when you die hard. Your homie's looking like, why God? Okay. And then finally, you are meant to collaborate here because you have, do not build fortresses to protect yourself. Right. And, um, so this is something about isolation is actually dangerous. Isol isolation makes you vulnerable. You're actually safer in the crowd. And this is going to manifest many different ways for you, depending on what you have going on. But, you know, um, like do not build a fortress. Do not try to, do not try to be like an island unto yourself. Um, you know, th there's something about, um, don't be an island because then you are cut off. Like people are resources. There's something about blending in, you know, like don't think that you just being isolated by yourself is a good idea, right? When I, 
before I started this YouTube channel, I was like an apprentice to someone. I under, I learned the YouTube game from the inside out. That didn't happen by me just sitting in my room alone studying their algorithm. It involved me speaking with other YouTubers. It involved me not isolating myself. So there's something here. There's going to be a temptation for a lot of you to go into isolation. I do feel, and for some of you, this is say, saying... If you're depressed, make sure you you have people around you, or you know you have you create relationships where people can understand your career, money, financial problems instead of viewing it as this big emotional thing. You know, I don't know why I'm getting that now. Um, it seems like a lot of you know what you want to do, um, but a lot of you have been putting it off, procrastinating, or something. This is a very interesting reading. So. When it comes to your opportunity with this whole career, life purpose, money, you have the Ace of Swords as your opportunity. This is the Sword of Truth. This is a new beginning. These are new thoughts coming into your mind. So don't be afraid to start something new, right? That's really what this is about. And for those of you that are currently employed, um, once again, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates, but I really see you actually completely leaving something behind. And this could be the opportunity is the new start. Even if you are a business owner, you got something going on in that way, Add a new element. There's something about be careful of things growing stale. Be careful of being too predictable as well. Just, because it's interesting. This card, because I read intuitively, make other people come to you. Remember the analogy that I gave you about like the biggest mistake that people and do you want to know why I'm do you want to know why I'm telling you this for free? It's because 90% of you won't even use it. If I knew that 100% of Aquarius people would use this, I probably wouldn't put it out there because then I'd be out of a job. But for those of you that actually will use this, don't try to over-explain yourself. The world is too filled with people trying to shove a message down your throat. I stand for this. I stand for that. Be a little bit mysterious. Make people come to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's an art. That's You need to learn how to do that, but you only learn through experience. So... When it comes to your challenge, you have the seven of, so uh, seven of Wands. This is resistance, being defensive. Many of you in your challenge here, you're very... Once again, isolation is dangerous. Do you see any people around this? No, you, you see this person building a fortress to protect themselves. So the first thing coming through here is a lot of you are going to have big resistance to a move that is very necessary for you to make. A lot of you are going to be very defensive to a move that the universe is trying to push you in. Your challenge for some of you is you're even very resistant to these laws of power. You're very resistant to the oracle cards that I'm using here. And, um, you know, this world ain't all sunshine and rainbows, baby. We incarnated into this 3D, which includes human power dynamics, human nature, psychology. And if you're not aware of these things, then you're going to get smoked December 5th by the autistic mystic. So I'm just, I'm, now, this is very well, we're going to have to see when we clarify. This could have to do with other people being very resistant to your change that you're making, especially for those of you that are very tight with your coworkers especially for those of you that are an employer or for those of you that feel stagnant yet cozy and safe within your um, your current job situation. There is something about defensiveness. It's your challenge. So be open, right? I mean, I mean, this is about being open to new thoughts, right? The, 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 this is it. So don't be closed mind. Don't be fixed. Once again, Aquarius is fixed energy. It's like once you get your, your teeth into an idea, it's very hard to change. So I'm even getting that this reading for some, a percentage of you is challenging your very ideas of of how to get ahead. I mean, okay, so just be aware of that. Um, I don't care, though. I'm, I'm trying to actually help people. I'm not worried about what you think of me doing these readings. I'm literally just trying to give you the information that got me to where I am. Thank you. Okay, so when it comes to your overall general energy, you have the Nine of Cups, you have the Ace of Wands, and you have the Nine of Swords. So you are going to be starting something new that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling to you. But you are going to have some second doubts. You know, this is unfinished business here, Aquarius. For a lot of you, there's clearly a new beginning when it comes to your money. Um, and what I get is actually going to happen very magically or mysteriously. Synchronistic opportunity. What I want you to pay attention to is synchronicity. Because the way that I read, the Nine of Cups is about synchronicity. It's about having your ducks lined in a row and people being like, how did you do that? How did that happen? That seems magical. So there is going to be some sort of magical opportunity for you when it comes to this, but you're going to have to make a very hard break from an emotional comfort zone, okay? And for some of you, I mean, just to give you an example, like make others come to you. Some of you, the only way that you're going to feel comfortable is if you're like, everything's in order, this is who I am. But once again, 
people feel superior to the per- the person that they can if if someone can always predict your actions they will unconsciously feel superior to you and look down on you unconsciously and the way that works as many spiritual people i don't look down on anyone cuz i'm sarah and i meditate but then she's unconsciously looking down on people and she's not even aware of it so i'm t- yeah <laughs> okay all right so it looks actually good what I get from this is there needs to be a decision to, to to start something new. Many of you are very resistant, even if you're miserable in your current... Some of you are going to be pushed out. And you have to remember this is a general reading, so please use your intuition. But, oh my gosh, when it comes to what you don't see coming, some of you will be moving on, traveling to a new location for a job. Wow, you have the two of swords, you have the two of pentacles, and you also have the six of swords here for a lot of you i see you balancing two different things at the same time maybe having um one career and then starting a side hustle and then eventually turning it into your full-time career there's something about and this isn't what you don't see coming so there's definitely a change in your money that you do not see coming for a lot of you this is going to involve travel for a lot of you that actually hate your current career but you're just doing it out of practicality i do see the universe putting a target on your back they're, right now, the universe is like this. This is a bow and arrow. If you hate your career, the universe is like this, waiting, waiting. Okay, there's no more expansion. And and basically, and then basically, you need to change your career because you are a target for the universe if you're not moving with expansion. I don't want to scare you. It's a general reading. It's not going to be for all of you. If it's not about you being fired, then this is about potentially balancing two things at once it doesn't even have to be career there could be a very difficult challenging situation balancing your career and your emotional life balancing your career and friends because there's something about your ideals are in question because when it comes to your advice from spirit you clearly see that five of swords just lurking on that ten of just lurking on that ten of cups you have the seven of cups you have the five of swords and you have the uh Ten of Cups. So just from a very objective level, there's a conflict when it comes to your emotions and your and like conflict of thoughts. This could be a disagreement between your heart and mind here. Okay, but what I got going on for, when it comes to your advice here, Aquarius, there may be um there may be some sort of happily ever after vision that spirit is advising you to destroy. There may be an outdated mental model of, you know, I'm only going to be happy if I have the white picket fence. And it's probably not that as an Aquarius, but there is some sort of ideal that maybe this has to do with the outside world in general. And this does have to be do with using your anger as it's actually what I'm getting. If the world around you doesn't look like this, then maybe you need to get angry about it until it does look like that. Because people think, yeah, you know, what's the easiest way to, if you're confused about your purpose, If you're confused about the money that you, if you're confused about your money situation, your life purpose situation, then here's the question that I would have you ask yourself. What angers you about the world? What angers you about the world? And are you doing something to make a change in that? Because the the five of swords has to do with destruction, anger, violence. And um, the 10 of cups has to do with an ideal vision. And because this is in your advice, we're going to have to clarify. But the only thing that got me up out of bed is anger and passion you wouldn't think so but initially yeah you have to be so fed up you have to be angry with the world in order to really make that change so there is something about fueling the fire now for others of you there's some sort of emotional decision because whatever career decision you try to make you could feel shame about it or there could be people that really are going to hate you for this but i would say if you don't have any haters that just means you're not doing enough and from a certain perspective when it comes to advancement when it comes to career money and life purpose because most people live quiet lives of desperation and that's not going to get you anywhere in terms of expense it might make you safe but then you're going to be in your own hell so what i'm saying from this aquarius like the main thing here is there could be a family member because this has to do with like your family there could be people who think that they know best how you should live your life and there may be something here where you need to finally stand up to yourself because there is something about unfinished business, right? When we look at your overall general energy, um, the way that the cards are spread out is this nine of, technically the nine of wands is looking behind him. But in this particular spread, he's looking right at that ace of swords. So there's some sort of new beginning that, that may actually cause either you or someone else to be highly defensive about this. But 
so overall, it's like you're going to be very happy and you're going to be excited. You're going to be passionate and there's going to be a lot of synchronicity here. But when it comes to what you don't see coming, these and, you know, the interesting thing here, Aquarius, is there's not one major arcana card in this reading. There's two aces and the rest of the cards are minor arcana. Minor arcana, like not a major one, has to do with daily occurrences. So some of you may actually feel like you're not getting the spiritual guidance that you prefer. The universe is not giving you, there's still synchronicity, of course, but like in terms of guidance, I just, there's no major arcana here. So what this tells me is no one's coming to save you. If I do a reading, a career reading, and it's the star, the emperor, the tower, that's like the universe is divine. There's no actually, there's no divine intervention here so far. So what this means is you're being called to activate what? Your free will. Some of you are like waiting for the right, you know, moment of like clarity. Thank God for granting me this moment of clarity, this moment of honesty, the world to feel my truth. But it's like sometimes that never happens and you could spend your whole life waiting is what I'm happening. And especially if you've been waiting to make a career move that you know is already overdue, some of you will get fired. But even though you're going to be fired, you're going to be like, well, at least we have this to look forward to. And I'm not saying that. I'm not putting that out there. And here's the thing. The reason why we do tarot is that we can like look at timelines and if you don't like the timeline that you're currently a match to if this is resonating then what you do is change your behavior to to change it but i sense that if you change your behavior to keep a job that you hate it may do you well until august but then what are you going to do you're still in this hole so there's just a lot of nuance here so let's go let's let's go ahead and get into this um because Okay, there's something about difficulty of collaborating as well. Um, I don't know, let's see why the Ace of Swords is here in your opportunity. Why is the Ace of Swords here in your opportunity, Aquarius, for career, money, and life purpose from now until the end of August? <sighs> Ace of Swords and your, over, and your opportunity. Wow, it's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Justice card, and also the Four of Pentacles when it comes to your opportunity here. Um, so when it comes to this as being your opportunity here, Aquarius, I do feel like you know what's gonna, you know what your legacy actually is meant to be. But for some reason here, um, some of you may be actually denying some sort of other offer here to move in a direction of your own long-term. Um, legacy system this is your opportunity justice for a lot of you here you have a great idea that will bring justice to the outside world and create a new legacy system this could have to do with education this could have to do with law politics um some of you out there there's a lot of political awareness going along right now there's an opportunity for you to create some sort of long-term structure here okay and um really i think a lot of you actually know what this is like you already know what you're good at you already know what you're meant to do, um, but you just need to do it. Now, the other thing here is, once again, why is this is near opportunity? For some of you, it's about denying some sort of career offer that you know is no, not good for you. Maybe for some of you, this is also coming through very strongly about, for a period of time, don't worry about love and worry about your career. If you're very serious about this from now until the end of August, people are gonna be like, oh, Aquarius, come over and let's smash. And you're like, no, I need to focus on my career. It's sacrifices. I gotta make sacrifices. I done gave up so much free time, no one time ain't free. Hey, I sacrificed it. Now the other thing here, the final thing, Aquarius, it actually is coming through as make other people come to you and even stir up waters to catch fish. See how this person is making people come to them? He's like, I don't care if you offer me this, I'm just sitting here. And then bam, the offer comes. So there is something about switching the buyer-seller dynamic, switching the way, I'm Cynthia and I'm a tarot reader. And I spent, no, 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 just be like, hey, I'm Cynthia. Shut up, just, just, okay? I mean, or don't, because some, you know, sometimes that's gonna work for, it won't, it will work for me, it won't work for you. So you have to know thyself. Before you understand another, you have to understand who you are. But I'm just getting, there is some sort of, it's just good energy, honestly, but there is 
I'm just trying to uncover this resistance. So speaking of resistance, let's see why the seven of why is the seven of wands here in your challenge when it comes to career, money, and life purpose from now till the end of August? Tower, the Eight of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. And you're, yeah, um, wow. A lot of you here, your biggest challenge is you're very resistant to a change that you need to make. Your biggest challenge is you're stuck in a foundation that you know is overdue to be destroyed. The tower is a, a foundation coming to an end. The tower represents something that's been in your life for a very long time. Interestingly enough, you have the Justice card, Major Arcana. You also have the tower here, Major Arcana. So when it comes to your opportunity and challenge, there is a little bit of divine intervention occurring, but not when it comes to the overall general energy so far. You also have the Ace of Wands is in your challenge, and remember, the Ace of Wands is also here in your overall general energy. So there's clearly um, there's clearly a, a challenge when it comes to you listening to your, your inspiration, because the Ace of Wands is really about inspiration. Now alternatively, I don't know if I want to go there, this is the um, male genital card, because you see the wand kind of looks like a penis. And so for some of you, there could be some sort of thing about being stuck in a sexual thing, you know, escaping your career, money, and life purpose through sex. And if that's you, then you want to look at it because the Ace of Wands is here twice. So, um, but really there's, there, there, and, and it makes, with that challenge, it makes perfect sense why this isn't what you don't see coming. The universe has a target on your back here, Aquarius, absolutely. And this isn't what you don't see coming here. When, if you are an employer or if you're in a very big position of power or small position of power, and this could actually have to do with you firing someone, you letting go of someone in a, in a career sense, or you letting go of a mentor, letting go of something is what you need to do, right? So, and just you remember, I was, no. Yeah, so that's very interesting, right? I mean, your challenge is the Tower, Eight of Swords, and the Eight. So this is about letting go of foundations and trusting yourself to start something new. And your opportunity as well, is um, it may actually not feel good emotionally, but it will feel good spiritually. Like the final alternative of your, the final alternative that I'm getting very strongly now in terms of your opportunity, remember this is your opportunity. This is about bringing justice to the world spiritually, even though your little self might be freaking out and be saying, I cannot do this. I'm not up to the task. This is too big. This is too crazy. Why am I going to sacrifice? Whoa. You know, there, there is something about sacrificing yourself for the collective here. The truly enlightened person is not the person who plants the seed that they know they're going to eat the fruit from that tree. The truly enlightened person is the person who plants the seed knowing that they may never eat the food. They may never be able to stick around to, to receive the fruits from that tree. But then you're building up good spiritual karma. So there is something here, no matter what, you're scared. I mean, you could be scared of persecution depending on if you're doing this on a political level. But I just get, I get that it will be better than you think because remember, in your overall general energy, you have the Nine of Cups and you have the Ace of Wands. So there is some sort of like, you whatever change is happening, you might be scared, right? Four of Cups, Nine, like, oh my God, I'm shaking. This was me when I started this channel or other things that I do. But you're gonna have some sort of inspiration, right? Like your emotions will be influenced by positive inspiration. And in general, inspiration doesn't come from having an amazing life where everything goes great. So with that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading. I think I've given you enough information. I wish you the best of luck.